What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this telescoping shovel from Schrade. And uh, over the past couple years, it, feel like, it feels like these kind of you know telescoping shovels or these small, compact, what people might call survival or emergency shovels have become a bit of a craze. And uh, Schrade got into the, uh, into the mix here. This one's gonna run you probably around $25, give or take. And um, you know the biggest thing for me is that it is foldable. It is uh, able to get even more compact than one of the already compact shovels. And so the question is, as you use it, is it actually functional? Does it you know wiggle and wobble? Is it uh, actually a solid tool to use out here in the woods? So we're going to test it out. But let's start out and uh, talk about some of the specs in relation to this shovel. So here are some initial thoughts when I actually uh, I take the shovel out. I've, been, I've had it for a while. I haven't actually put it in the ground because I want to do that fresh in this review. But the, uh, the little sheath is, is very nice. So you got this snap and it goes like this. So you're basically gonna slide the shovel in like so. And then this is gonna snap down. This is gonna snap down. Now, again, I always, I always talk about uh, products and their quality in relation to their price point. So for 25 bucks for the whole deal, you know, you're not gonna get a super you know amazing sheath but this does the job and it's going to keep the edges safe it's going to keep you safe from you know poking yourself or hurting yourself and um, i like the fact that it's got you know quite a few rivets around the um around the edges there so yeah that's a plus and then you got this little option here i will show you that when you fold the handle down you could run this on a belt i generally wouldn't do that but you could also tie it to gear which is a which is a plus let me show you quickly here you loosen this thing and then you can swing this over and then you can uh Tighten that up. Now that handle's relatively secure, and you could, uh, you know, easily attach it to a pack, a belt, something like that. So very simple, compact. You know, and now at this at this length, I'll uh, I'll add the annotation in here because I don't have a, a tape measure with me right now. But very small. You're talking less than a foot, you know, and then probably you know six inches across. Looking specifically at the shovel here, you get this nice T handle, and that's going to be comfortable just as I've been holding it. You get a nice solid grip there, so it's not just you know a straight handle. Um, you do have this little section here that is textured and so this is essentially a hammer you can't really use it like this because it's just it's too small and this edge uh, they say it is it is sharpened I wouldn't call it razor sharp but it's definitely sharpened so you want to be careful of uh, you know cutting yourself on this but when the handle is extended let's see if I can do this while it's still folded up I don't know if I can do that yeah there we go so when the handle is extended and this is locked in took me a minute but once the handle is locked in now you could certainly use, you know, use it like this, and use that to hammer down some stakes or something like that. You can hear when you do when you do move it. There's definitely some movement here. It's not huge, but enough to make some to make some noise. And then once again, when you want to actually deploy the shovel, roll that back, swing it down, and now you're uh, you're ready to go. You could certainly use it like this as well. You know, use the hammer portion like this as well. It's just a little bit extra weight toward the front, so it makes it a little bit. I don't know. It's not super challenging, but a little, a uh, little more awkward as far as your balance. Um, you still get that little bit of noise there, and then you can see one, two, three, four, and then I'm locked in the fifth position here. And what you got is this little, basically this little tension section. You're gonna push that back. It's gonna click out. Now you can slide this up and down wherever you want to, and then let's put it at the highest here. And if you put it up to the the top and then you try to kind of click it in, it won't. So you got to find that sweet spot where the little, uh, you know, the the hole is being met by the notch that's going to, uh, the little pin that's going to go into it. And now you got your shovel, and you are uh, ready to go. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a close up on the uh, on the edge here. So it's not just you know one big scoop here. You you do have this sharpened edge, and then you got kind of a, a raised section, and then it dips down in here. So really, this is the biggest divot this entire section and then flip it onto the back. You can see how the actual shovel head is attached to the uh, the folding portion of the handle. You have this kind of T bracket here and it looks like it should be relatively solid. We'll get out there and we'll use it in a moment here to show you what that looks like. But there's a look at the, uh, the head of the shovel and then let's flip it around to the other end. Here's a look at that T handle. A little texture here and then a little texture there as well. Nothing super fancy. All right, let's show you what it looks like in use. All right, let's do some digging here.
I've only been digging for a few moments here. I can already tell you something that needs to get reworked if they're gonna do a version 2.0. So I got this hand here and this hand, where do I put it? Well, naturally I'd put it right about there, but there's this slot here. And so when I hit hard to kind of stab into the ground, my hand gets all beat up by having it on this and it's metal. So it kind of, you know, it slices into your hand. So I tried holding down here, but now if you hit the ground hard, now your hand is hitting against, you know, this kind of hammer, uh, this flattened portion that you use for hammering. If you hold it up like this, it works okay, but it's kind of, you know, unwieldy. You want to have your hand closer down here. So that's, uh, it's, it's not terrible. Maybe with a pair of gloves, it would be better, but that's definitely one thing that would have to get uh, tweaked in a version 2.0 of the Schrade folding shovel. Okay, so we are in the granite state here. So regardless of how you dig or where you dig, you're probably gonna hit some sort of significant rock uh, in not too long. I've dug down about, I would say probably 10 inches here. And you can see, there's the hole. Did it right next to this stump just because I knew the ground would be a little bit softer there. And um, it worked It worked fine to get down to that. Um, it's a little bit tough to get around large rocks because it is a small shovel, but that's gonna be the case for any you know, smaller folding shovel. So uh, it, it worked. Again, that issue with the uh, with the handle is a little bit concerning to me. Uh, again, I do think with a pair of gloves, probably not as bad, but there is probably a way they could figure out. I don't know exactly how they do it. They'd have to figure it out, but um, you need to cover that area up so that your hand isn't getting beat up while you're digging. Something I did want to mention is that it's, uh, it's kind of sharpened on the edges there, as you saw earlier on, and it is uh, quite effective at chopping through roots and smaller things like that. So I'll show you how the chopping feature works now. Real quick, I just want to mention here that overall the lockup is quite good. Once you get this, this uh, basically this nut cranked down, there's really no movement at all on the head of the shovel. The major issue, and it's not even major, but the, the major area, if any, where there's movement is here in the handle. And you can hear that. So when you are chopping with, you know, holding the handle like this, there's some movement here. And then when you're shoveling, there's going to be a little bit of movement this way. Just a tiny bit, you can see here. It's not a ton, but it is worth noting. Here's a quick look at using this flattened portion to uh, maybe hammer a tent stake or something like that into the ground. And so without hitting it too hard, we got it to go in about, I'd say about five or six inches into the ground here. So that certainly works and it's definitely better to use that than the back of the shovel that's just made to have uh, to be used more aggressively than the back side of the shovel. All right, so here are some overall thoughts on this Schrade folding shovel. If I was gonna take a scale and say, you know, terrible, poor, average, fine, good, I'd probably put it between fine and good. It's not amazing. It's not gonna change my life. I'm not gonna go buy them and start giving them out to friends. Um, but I've yet to see this type of folding shovel or something like that, that's absolutely amazing. Now, the major issue uh, is, I found is this, you know, this slot in the back that bothers my hand. And also that this handle moves in the process of you shoveling or of you chopping. Uh, with something like, say, the cold steel shovel, you're not going to have that because the handle is firmly attached to the head of the shovel. The cold steel shovel is not going to be as compact as this because you can't fold it up like this. So you're going to have pluses and minuses on both sides. This is the type of shovel I'd throw in the back of a car, you know, in case you got some ice build up under the car and you had to get out there and chop through the ice, dig the ice out to get your car out. It's not gonna be the type of thing that you're gonna shovel your car out, you know, when it's buried in six feet of snow. But if you had to get something that you could use kind of aggressively to chop some ice or snow away, this could be a good option. So your major downsides to the shovel are gonna be that slot in the back as far as the comfort, and then the fact that this handle does have a little bit of movement when you're actually using the shovel. Major upside for the shovel is that it is very compact. You can get into a very small space, uh, you know, and to store it, to pack it, throw it in a backpack, throw it in an emergency bag, back of your, uh, back of your car. It's not gonna take up a lot of space and it is certainly usable. Now I personally haven't found uh, shovels to be one of those tools that I'm like, I really need that 
in the woods at all times, you know, like a survival tool or a bushcrafting tool, something like that. But if you've had experience with little compact shovels like this, leave in the comments down below, what's your favorite and tell us why. And then maybe we'll get a hold of one of those and review it for, uh, for the viewers here of Everyday Tactical Vids. So once again, the trade folding shovel, uh, a value product, something you can throw in the back of your car. You're not going to use it a ton, but might be nice something to have, you know, for those situations when you do need something that's compact, not going to take a lot of space, and you can dig a little bit with it. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us on our Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.